one thing that we do need to add to our all of our enemies before we can get going in the script is a sphere collider. So what I'm going to recommend is grabbing them all at once with control or command click, or if they're all next to each other in the hierarchy using a shift click, uh, or again, you can do it individually, but I recommend it this way. Uh, we're gonna go add component, sphere collider, and you'll want to make sure that that's expanded so you can actually see it in the scene view. And you'll see it's kind of centered around their feet. That's not what we want. So we want to bump that up in this center field. We'll set the Y value to 1. And you'll see that'll center it just about perfectly on all of them. Some of these guys are a little taller than others, but that's okay. Um, and then we want to give this a pretty sizable radius. Because what this trigger is going to do is when the player enters into this sphere, it will tell the enemies to attack him. So we want to set this to is trigger. We want to set is trigger to true. So we make sure to check that box. And then we want to set our radius here to, let's say, yeah, we'll do five. I think five is pretty good. Yeah, so we'll have an is trigger. We'll have the center at one, and then we'll set the radius to five. And now what we can do is go back into our NPC script. And here at the bottom, underneath our update, we need to add an on trigger enter. So a private void on trigger enter with the collider other. So if you got to type it out, make sure you don't forget uh, this value here. And then inside that, what we need to do is add a if other dot game object dot tag. So if other dot game object dot tag equals to player which you may remember we assigned that to our player at the start of the project. Uh, if that is true, we want to say attack is equal to true. And we want to assign, or we want to make our destination, our current destination, equal to that to the player's transform. We don't want to, if we're attacking, we don't want to have our guy running all the way to some random corner of the map. We want him to attack. So we say other dot game object dot transform. Um, and that'll allow us to, oh, I'm sorry, why isn't, oh, that's why. So we need to add a transform here. So little mistake on my part, but that's okay. We'll say current dest. Current dest will hold, will be, oh wait, we already have a current destination. We'll say, um, we'll say my dest, how about that? So my destination is what that is. In fact, we'll just call it my destination. <laughs> There. Okay, that works. So we have my destination, uh, and we'll say my destination is equal to other dot game object dot transform. Uh, and now what we need to do is say uh, private void on trigger exit, which in the same fashion needs to have this collider other. Excuse me. If um, you know if we want it to work, we need this collider other. So what we'll do is just copy and paste this conditional over. So Control C or Command C, and then Control or Command V. Um, and instead, we don't want to set our destination to anything. We want to just remove that line. And then what we want to do is set attack to false. This will make it so if the player enters our range through that sphere collider we just added, we'll attack him. And if he manages to run away from us, then we'll ignore him and we'll go back to our business.